So the third round has begun. Yep. I might go to the washroom first. I'll be back in five minutes. All right, sure. Right, we'll hop into our probably Chinga Pinos game with Namfi. If this Namfi is the Namfi from Dota, uh, I'll be pretty happy. We have someone that has decent followers, I guess, that joins our tournament. Alright, so let's go. Chinga Pinos is someone from it's a S Singaporean mix Filipinos and also a Chinese. And he's currently based in Singapore. He's from our community as well. So Nanfi has an axe and double pokna. So this 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 is a double pokna that that we were talking about. Erwin. Erwin played conflict on the conflagration on the first lane. Oh yeah, I might I might have missed it. So double Pogna is actually very scary. One Pogna is okay, but double Pogna can be really annoying. Because the Nether Ward, with one, it deals three damage to enemy's tower after the opponent plays a spell. So a spell in draft, usually have, you have around like 20 spells, so 3 damage is not that much. If you start stacking up the nether ward, like 6 damage and 9 damage, just like in Dota, it just kills your hero. Hero in Dota and power in artifact. And here's an axe. But axe and... Pogna kind of has a slightly counter synergy because Pogna doesn't really hit that hard and it's very squishy. Okay, I'm back. Um, so we are watching Nemfi? Nemfi and Chingapino. Alright. I was saying that I think Nemfi is a pro Dota player. So I'm not sure if this Nemfi is that Nemfi. Uh, so Nemfi has an oh. X and two Pogna. So... Chingapino has a race which actually can remove the nether ward oh, yeah. next turn and if you put his exe in lane 2. The thing but, about race is such a un... it's not a very efficient card. Mm -hmm. I mean it's very very situational. You must be you must think um, you must always assume that your opponent has opponent has improvements or a lot of improvements yeah. here. So based on the current board state it seems like Chinga Pino is slightly leading. Power um, health wise, yeah. Nemfi has taken down a good amount of damage on the middle lane for Chinga Pino's tower. I think the the later the game goes, I think Nemfi just need need, need to uh play conservatively and try to conserve his tower that help the top mouth ward, the nether ward will eventually do enough damage to yep. your opponent blue heroes. And unfortunately King of Pino is running blue heroes. So blue heroes have a lot of spells. Mm -hmm. However, Prelex it's Paradox Signature is an improvement, so improvement doesn't proc the the Nether Ward. Mm -hmm. So based on card in hand, nothing too much happening. Uh, Chingapina has an Eclipse in hand, it will be 4 charges this turn. 4 charges, is it enough to clear the middle lane? Probably not enough. X is at 11, it takes 4. Okay. Okay, so he searched his. Pagna? Pagna to lane 2. So, as Shinga Pino, you probably just play a race here, right? Oh, you can't play the race. Yeah, there's no. 
Um, there's no great hero, so all he can do is probably put his Agarding Sempton in another lane. Yeah, so which lane do you play to first? First lane, or it's either first lane or the middle yeah. lane? Oh, he put it in first lane. Yeah. And then I think he might, or oh, he, he doesn't TP his... Luna. Yeah, he doesn't TP his Luna out. I, th I think that's fair. I think that is okay. I think t both TPing or not TPing is fine. If you don't TP, you 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 save that ten damage on your tower. If you TP, it takes extra 10, 10 damage. Oh, so now he has, he put um steel reinforcements on lane two, which reduces the damage your tower by three. Because somehow, yeah. it yeah. it doesn't stack. The damage doesn't stack up. And minus one armor, it minus for each, uh, unique source of yeah. damage, which is why armor in this game is quite a very annoying thing to deal with as well. So it's Pugna, Nether Ward deals three damage. All right. So the, right, thing, so is, the thing is, if you have three steel reinforcements, you totally negate the damage from Nether Ward. Okay. So <laughs> now the thing is, um, Chingapino has Maxine, which has steel reinforcements. But on the other hand, um, Nemfi has Pagna, which has Nether Blast. Oh yes, that's true. I guess Nemfi, that's just kind of hard and... counter Chingapi knows, right? Yeah, that's why. And just... right now, there goes the Agarim Samton. Yeah. I think you might want, um, I think he might prefer to take out the Ferex. What I would do here is play clear the deck. Just cleave out every single thing in this yeah. in this lane. Is there anything else that you can play? You can also play the roll sleeve druid. Mm -hmm. Or the intimidation is not good here. Yeah, you you want to try and kill Perlex because um you don't want his uh hourglass to fuck up your items. Yeah. But on the other hand, um, Perlex actually has uh, heal? so he decided to heal the Ursa. But he has a town portal, so he can actually TP it out and deploy it again. So we TP out, you probably TP out, right? So you want to save the hourglass. So if you TP out the Perlex, her the hourglass will be active again next turn, which means uh, it's still it's still yeah, so blocking that's, that Yeah, so there's nothing much he did. I think Nemphi's deck is better, uh, specifically and against Chingapino's deck. With yeah. the double Pogna that deals damage and also removes improvement. Look at how many improvements Chingapino So he has. decides to he decides to sacrifice his Prelex here. Which I feel was quite a bad play. As you could have used it to. <laughs> there goes your steel improvement. Yeah, there goes all the improvement. <laughs> so look at how many improvement that Chingapino has, right? Yes, Messenger Rukri. He has two gold mine. He has three okay. steel reinforcement, one Agarim Samson, one Kinfolk turret, three Varex. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's like that's almost ten. <laughs> So if he saves the TP scroll for, from saving Prelex, I imagine he would probably uh, TP out one of the hero here. Yeah, that's that's what I would do as well. He probably plays the play the legionnaire. Oh no, there I think go. you should definitely play the legionnaire first. Because no, uh, he's confident he would take the tower next turn because the bounty hunter is dealing quite a lot of damage, so that's fine. I guess that's fair because there's no hero dropping. But you can drop but a creep. There is a creep though. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, um, Book of the Dead. Book of the Dead? Oh, yeah. yeah, he has yeah. a Book of the Dead. <laughs> Alright, I think that's fine. That, that's okay. That, that's a way to, to get an extra reach. Oh, look what Chingapino just drew. Oh, that's one of his win condition. He cannot rely yeah. on his improvements anymore. So he has, he has to cast his stuff. 
So Nanfi has so many cards, but a lot of the cards are not really useful. So if I was do you if I was Nemfi I would probably Yeah, I'll put the low sleeve first and maybe try to search Pagna to third lane to try and defend it. But I'm not too worried about it because my other lanes are all have thirty five thirty over HP, so that's not a very big difference. So as Nemfi uh what What's, what what is your win condition? Are you trying to play for lane 1 or lane 3? Nemfi's win condition is probably... Nether Ward? <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't... Yeah, Nether Ward and... He has Burst Eagle Core. He only has Nether Ward. And 3 Ogre Conscript. But... Mm -hmm. yeah, so will you play for, for the lane 1 or the, or the, or the, or the, or the third and lane? And the Seta Duelist. So that's, that's, that's his only win conditions yeah. in this whole deck. And maybe giving damage through the Legion Standard Bearer. So the next one is the Cursator, which is kind of... <laughs> Meh. If you put, put it in a yeah, fully unless, contested lane, it's kind of helping you Unless, of course, yeah. So unless um, you have a improvement that deals like Confragation or Ignite, which deals damage at the start of the turn. Yeah, I think it's quite a very bad card to place in your deck. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. Yeah, but I mean, in in Nemphis deck, in Nemphis hand, he also has a Cursator, <laughs> so I do not know what's going on with them. <laughs> Alright, I like this double TP. You let the creep do your stuff, but now Chingafino can choose to defend the middle lane again. But with the nether ward, it's probably not wise. Because if you want to defend the middle lane, you have to drop your parallax. And yep. all your parallax can do as a blue hero is cast spells. Yeah, so currently the only play yeah, so like what he does what he does is put all into lane one. Yeah, so lane one is a party lane right now. Nine heroes are the first lane. Exactly. <laughs> And it's lucky that in Chigapido's deck, he doesn't have an Annihilation. If not, nice. this would be a very, very painful experience for Both Nemfi. Of them. <laughs> no, mainly Nemfi because... Yeah, uh, actually both of them. Because you have be quite 9 heroes here. Yeah, 9 heroes in lane 1. I mean, how, how often do you see a 9 hero lane? Yeah, not, not very often. I think... Uh, this lane is going to at least play out for two more turns because n none of these things are dying. Mm -hmm. And Eclipse, let's see. Kills a Pugna. I I would I would say that is pretty lucky. He has a uh, Shien on the side that's dying as well. Yeah. And on, on the other lane, uh, it's just tickling the tower, so running down Ancient, it, it's not going to happen in this game for at least 3 more turns. Mm -hmm. So the first lane is the contest lane. So who would you so favor he... here? I'll probably favor uh, Chingapino because yeah, he has so the sorry. incarnation of Stellar Menace coming next turn. Which means he can yep. play his play his hand. Nemfi needs his Berserker calls. So um this turn you see four mini creeps dying. Which means that the Cook of the Dead gets four <laughs> gets four charges immediately. So who who played this? Um Chigapino played it. Okay. So he directed all the damage away from Ursa to the creep. What does it do? It saves the. Uh, it bronze saves the bronze legionnaire. That's yeah. alright. Pick a fight and kill the Ursa. Interesting. But that 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 also means, uh, Darkseer is also dying. 
Uh, but Naxia dies now because yeah, he has and, and the Asada yeah, will the... die. Yeah, that's a pretty so that's... bad pick a fight. Yes. So in this turn, Nemphi is gonna lose three heroes, which is very bad for Nemphi. So I think he he has to play for the last the last lane, and but he's I... trying to take out. The prelex with the hourglass. Okay. I feel like that, that pick a fight was a very bad play. There's literally no no reason to play that. You're not stopping any damage, and you're just killing. Killing off your own hero, yeah. yeah. Killing off and your own hero. And what's worse is that you won't be getting any of the stone hall. Um, you won't be getting any of the stone hall benefits from here. Yeah, that that is true. Uh, what 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 do you think is this Trian going to achieve in the middle lane? Is he going to try to intimidate intimidate himself back to the first lane? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that that's something he can try, <laughs> and may succeed. Oh wait, he intimidated his... Oh... Or go to last lane. <laughs> Do you think he went... He, he went, went in, in front of Bounty Hunter. So that stops the lethal. Mm -hmm. And there's no cards that Bounty has that can... Oh, so he actually managed to survive. So I think Nampi, he really needs to draw his... Win condition is either the burst call or the nether ward. Mm -hmm. He has five and in hand. Five in hand. Five in hand. Yes. Deck. Yeah, so um, right now you can see that Nemphi has also drawn in an hourglass. Smeevil Armaster. <laughs> this, is, this is not a card I wear played in my deck. Yeah. I only play this if. You have Sven. Even if you have Sven, uh, uh, Okay, actually now he can play it. Just play, just play everything, uh, right? Yeah, he can just play everything. He can't play the black cards. He play the other red cards. Mm -hmm. But with uh, the yeah. Hourglass, it's kind of a counter. Soft counter. He, he should have drawn a card before the Hourglass was placed. But I think... I, I mean, mean, he, does, he didn't he doesn't know, know, right? Yeah. Either. So he's just gonna put everything. And Pakna has taken away the steel improvement. Was it? Oh yeah. no, he took away the iron for gold mine. In lane one. Oh is it barracks? I forgot. I oh yeah it's barracks, it's barracks. So now he can Number he one. can actually race. Yeah, oh he race. doesn't race? Is you can actually raise than, than me. I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he just healed the Ursa. Yeah. So what I would do is raise away the Nether Ward, but I think he's not doing that. I think this uh, Bolt of the Dead is going to be very huge. It's a very cute synergy between Bolt, Bolt of the Dead and... Ah, there we go. And the top of the is out. Yeah, it's a cute synergy. So you, you just play everything, right? You play... So Humi says that um, Nemphi should have used the nether ward here before playing the hourglass. Which... It will make... Three damage not much difference. of... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Because uh, your opponent is not going to draw any cards. But we know that Chingapino has the potion of knowledge. So if Nanfi played the Nether Ward and Chingapino draws a card, he will have one extra card. And Enrich. So Chingapino is three off to kill out to kill this tower. So the next turn, uh, Nanfi has an interesting choice. Nanfi has to try and um he can, he can play this. the first lane or the last lane. 
Because last lane, because of that intimidation, it's not dying yet. So what you can do is you can play Dark Seer first lane, Pugna last lane, and you search maybe something like an X to last lane. Depending on how Chingapino deploys his hero. Yeah. So I see Dark Seer and Pugna both last lane. Pugna, yeah, going last lane. Yeah, I actually think Nanfi has to go for the last lane because first lane it's almost impossible with all the creeps. Oh I think he's putting in ducks here in lane one and then maybe he can search his X over to lane three. Probably X, yeah. Should it has to be the X. The reason of putting ducks here last what? is that he ha he has some he might have he's, some green uh his ducks here is putting He's putting his Daxia back in lane 3. Alright, so... So is a there any green, than I green cards that, have, that will make any difference? I guess it's the Roseleaf Rejuvenator that will heal, mm -hmm. heal the tower. Okay, so now he has... He can't do anything because all his cards are blocked. Yeah. So he can bellow a creep. Yeah, in lane 3, you can bellow a creep, and... Well... Um, there's nothing much he can do there either. Yes, the thing is... Uh, he can remove, don't... The, <laughs> can remove the gold mine though. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's all. The thing about Chingapino's deck is... It doesn't really have a lot of creeps, right? It, it relies on the Prelex generating creeps and the Book of the Dead. And he, mm -hmm. he has played a lot of his creep on the first lane. So, I actually think uh, Nanfi have a decent chance of defending the last lane. Also, by looking yeah. at Chingapino's hand, he literally have nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, his, his, most, his only win condition is the incarnation. Yeah. And... Yeah, he has no other cards that actually can help him to win the game. Very strongly. Did he, what did he play? Did he play a pick of fight or something? On Ogre Conscript. So I guess he wants his Ursa to die. He wants to kill his Ursa so he can redeploy it. Yeah. I'm not sure whether the Conscript is already pointing on the, on the Ursa. Yeah, it is pointing on the Ursa. So the Ursa is taking 7 damage. Was it already pointing on the Ursa? Um, no, uh, previously it was pointing straight, so... Okay, yeah, I guess... It was pointing, no, it was pointing at, it was pointing at Luna at first, so... Okay. He kind of switched the arrows towards Ursa. I, I think that, 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 that's a smart play to, to suicide your Ursa. So that you can use it on the last lane. So he really wants... Oh, he got a D magic key more to condemn the Nether Ward. But you can't. Because it's, uh, it's blocked. So yeah, the that's blocking, why. yeah. It's a bit confusing. Uh, what does it, what does it mean by blocking? I I believe that uh the game doesn't really explicitly explain mm -hmm. how does blocking work. So when I, I when I'm first playing the game, I thought blocking is just like in right in front of you, right? Uh, it it depends on where your arrow is pointing. If your arrow yeah. is pointing at a creep, so yeah. you were. Uh, Definitely blocking doesn't blocked. actually mean uh, it's the arrow that you're pointing that is, that's blocked. Okay, so he decided to raise the nether ward instead. I feel you don't really need to raise here. You might want to save it on the raise on the last lane. Unless he thinks yeah. there's a chance of his first lane dying. Which is actually possible with X and Merciful Call. Mm -hmm. Hello, Nacho Daddy. Hello, Nacho Daddy. We have been casting quite some games. Oh, uh, mostly one to two matches per round. Yeah. After this round, um, there will be a short break because it will be the round two of drafting. So, what game did we cast? We cast first game, first round we casted 
Shield. Game. Shield, yeah. Second round was Singla versus Eleria. Is, and, is it? Yeah, and then uh, second round was Retrend versus. Oh, Retrend, yeah. Uh, versus the who are? What's the guy's name? I think. Some, 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 some. Let, some. let me go and find his name. I remember. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> So, uh, can candlelight. Candlelight, alright. Yeah, then the third <laughs> game was Singla versus um, Aleria. And this is our fourth game. Yeah, so... Nampi used to pick a fight to... save his quick. I think it's a fair play. Uh, at this point, you want to... save every single of your creeps. Although well, I think uh, you might... picking a fight on the bounty hunter might be slightly better. Because it saves both the melee creep and the conscript. Yeah. I think you bellow. Do you bellow one of the creep in front of you? No. Nah, he doesn't. <laughs> uh, Deals us for five more. Anyway, um, Nacho Daddy wants us to cast some of the actual drafts. Unfortunately, we can't. Because we can't look at the draft. Uh, we can actually. We can. After they finish drafting, um, we can take some time to cast one or two drafts okay. before watching the matches. Okay. If you you guys want that instead. Uh, so how how do you do that? So uh, you know how you right click uh games and you spectate. Yeah. Uh, below the spectate, there's actually a uh, option to watch the person's draft. All right. All right. Uh. Yeah, I so guess. it's either we watch the matches or we watch the draft. Okay, I I think that that that's on the BTS tournament. I think uh it's the players' first person view. That that's how they do it. I I guess we, what we can do is uh we'll take a short break because the drafting is thirty minutes. Maybe we'll take a fifteen minute break, and we'll come back and we'll look at the draft for the first, the phase. first phase. Yeah, one of the player of the first phase. Mainly, yeah, we can just look at one of the top drafts for the first phase. Yeah. Alright, I guess we can do that. And so let's hop back into the game. Board state wise is pretty even, I think. Mm -hmm. So, Chinga Pino And is... now with the um, defender weak. He saves his melee creep from dying. Feels like Nanfi's this board is never going to die. And would you start throwing the Sato here? But yeah, you definitely have to, right? Yeah, but if you throw the Sato, the Ursa and the Bounty is coming in next turn. So I think you just throw it as uh, you push for extra damage. Yep, so that's what he does. And for Chingapino, another big condition for him is to take down the first lane. First lane is going 80. So it looks like Nemphi is gonna try. Yeah, he, he's gonna try for the third lane. Yeah, he has to play for the, first, the last lane. So I think Chingapino, he can either deploy his hero to the first lane. Or to the last lane, but I think you have to deploy to the last lane. You just let first take to do his own thing, and let it take take mm -hmm. take take down slowly, and just stall for the last lane. Yes. So he's actually going in all in on the first lane. I think that's a losing play. I that I think that's a losing play, because yeah, in his deck he, he, been... he doesn't have. Disciple of Nevermore. He doesn't have the oath. And what else? Not, yeah, you don't have anything. And you see there's two creeps that's deploying on the first lane. Mm -hmm. And you know your hand is pretty bad. There's no way to push extra. So X for Nanfi you can burst a call on the X. X will but Die. He doesn't have Berserker Core at the moment. He has, Does right? he? Oh, he has two, but... Yeah. Yeah, so he can do that, actually. 
So if person will cause, does it kill himself? It will kill. It will kill himself. So yeah, nine, it would definitely 11, 14. Yeah, 14 damage will kill him. He has two armor, right? So bounty is doing nine. The the salamander is, is doing one. Doing one. So it's just that's ten. Yeah, that's damage. 10. And that that is good. You deny the black cards, you yeah. And that's what he does. And you set your axe to die so that you can redeploy your axe once again. So let's look at looks like, let's look at the right lane. Chingapino is threatening thirteen. He can play all the green cards. Yeah, so in lane 3, he can actually play his Rebel Decoy and the second Seder. And the Bellow. And then, yeah, and the Bellow. Move so he away. can get as much damage in to lane 3 as possible. But so, the problem is, if he doesn't win in one this turn, turn yeah. he's gonna lose in the next turn. Alright, so let's 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 hop to lane three. At lane one there's nothing hap nothing significant mm -hmm. happening in head time. So if he plays everything, so it will be Setter is three damage, Rebel is two damage, Bellow is another two damage because he's removed the creep in front of the melee creep. Okay, um what would be a more better play here? Would you rather do Bellow or would you just straight go for Berserker Core in lane 3? Like you Berserker Core the... Uh, oh, you can't Berserker Core the Darkseer. Right, so what what, what that, you can do is you can uh, equip the phase boots, swap uh, it and, to the and Darkseer. And swap in Darkseer and you just, ber you just Berserker Core. Q. Oh. And with that play, he will push for... How many damage? Let's see, so... So, that feels like that. 15, 20, 22, 24. With the Duelist, is 27. He, so, he wanted to try to push his creep to lane 3, but yeah. I guess it failed. So you remember, so if he swap and Berserker Call, I think it would be exactly 27 damage. Right? So... 8 plus 7 is 15, plus Satan is 20, 22, 24. Oh, that's, that's what he's 24 doing. 24 with a certain release is 27. So if he has thus, he, if he do a play that I mentioned earlier, which is bellow the creep in front of Darkseer, it will, he will push for extra 5 damage. And it will be exactly, it will be little this turn. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so so he will be very sad that he's what he's one off. Oh, he's not one off actually. One he's off. Oh, oh, that's he, a lucky. He he is actually one off. Yeah, so he's <laughs> really one off. Yeah. So that shows the importance of. I I think he should have searched one, one of his units, to the first lane. Because. Because he's not taking down the tower this turn anyway. I guess yeah, he just, so he, he's just sad right now. Something... <laughs> he's just sad. And since Prelex is coming in, there's n one of his cards is gonna get locked. Okay, let, let's look at the curves. So the curves is actually favoring Chingapin, uh, favoring Nemfi. Yeah, so Nemfi can actually win this. So let's look at. Oh, or maybe not, because Sister of the Veil has just dropped, so that's another 4 damage. No, but and he has, Pit he has Fighter no is another 2 damage. Oh yeah, he does not have any black, so... What he can do is... Um, can shoot something. All he has to do is just compel the Luna to shoot the tower. Oh yeah. And that's yeah. 9 damage in. And that, that should be enough. And... Furthermore, Ursa has two creeps on Book of oh, the yeah. Dead, which he summons. Alright, so that's... 
So, so yeah, can we say that Nemfi potentially has missed lethal because he pushes one less, yeah. five less damage in the earlier. So in this game, yeah, it's very similar to Dota. I, it's my personal feeling where every single chip damage on tower okay. is so very he's, He decided to shoot the creep in front of Incarnation instead. Yeah. Oh, look at the lock versus Kirk's call. <laughs> <laughs> but can that would have been a rather good card to have. But doesn't kill anything. Yeah, but it doesn't kill anything. Kill the Salem in his incarnation. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying. Yeah, every single chip damage on the tower. Uh, in this game, I think it's very important. It's it may not seem significant uh, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's it's just like Dota. When I first when I'm a noob in Dota, I always think that oh, if I'm not hit killing the tower with my push, I might as well go back and farm the neutral creeps. Okay, so he has thirty six damage That's just in enough. the tower. Yeah, thirty nine damage. Well, guess that's it. I have not seen any annihilation cuts today. Not yet. It's it's a rare. Yeah, not yeah, yet. It's a rare. We have seen two axes, right? Mm-hmm. Two axes. And two pop masks. And... <laughs> yeah. So that's three rares, you know. So this what Chingapino has been doing right now is just being an asshole, uh, basically. <laughs> yeah, I think that is not very nice. Yeah, that's not something because... we want people to do. <laughs> Alright, yeah. okay, so now we are done with... Are we done with... All the three? games? I think we are done with all the games, right? Let's say waiting for one series to complete. But Oof. I can't I, I can't find a series. Can you? Me neither. Um, <laughs> okay, so according to Overview, uh, Lost is still playing. Lost... But... I can't seem to find his game either. So what's going on? Lost. Yeah, he's right uh, at the bottom though. He, he's zero. playing the uh, Ali Sini the Ruth. Okay, bad. Uh, <laughs> I can't watch that game though. Where's the game? Oh. Uh, which means I think someone is. Probably one one of one of them is AFK, is it? I think both of them are AFK. Yeah, mods might, might want to look at this. Yeah, if you are yeah if you are not AFK, you you will you will, if you are searching again, you your name will your name will be highlighted, right? Oh uh, yeah, so it will be orange in color, for those that are searching, and once you are searched, there will be an outline around. So what I would do is I would just kick him right now. Yeah, he'll be kicking them. So. All right. So that concludes the first phase. So that that's that will be. So our players will be drafting the second round, and the score will be carried carried forward, and we have twenty twenty two viewers right now. So. This is our tweak circuit, and we are actually crowdfunding our crowdfunding our crowdfunding our uh, our tweak for next month. Yeah, January prize pool. January prize pool. So if you guys feel like supporting this community, uh, it's a very lively community, and feel free to. Check out our donation link. Uh, any any amount of donation is appreciate. And we'll take mm -hmm. a short fifteen minutes break while the players have thirty minutes to draft. Oh, and welcome candlelight to the stream as well. Um, we were watching some of your games earlier, and it was quite well played. Yep. So we'll we'll take a fifteen minute draft. We'll come back at around ten. 38-ish, and we'll talk about, we'll go through one of the drafts before the game sure, starts. Sure, definitely. Alright, so see you guys later.